We are following a major change in Israeli politics. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has abandoned efforts to form a new coalition government, meaning for the first time in a decade, the mandate is going to someone else. Now, that per person is likely to be Benny Gantz, the leader of the Blue and White Party you're seeing there. Israel's president intends to give him the mandate to see if he can form a government. But that's no guarantee that Gantz will be able to get it done either. Our Oren Lieberman is live in Jerusalem with us for more. So, uh, Benny Gantz will have a go at this. Any chance, any way you can tell us whether he can do it? Because so far, there's been no clarity out of these two elections we've had this year, Oren. And it doesn't seem like we're getting any of that clarity anytime soon. Former IDF Chief of Staff and head of the Blue and White Party, Benny Gantz, will have 28 days to try to form a government. But his path to victory, that is his path to being the prime minister, is no clearer at this point than Netanyahu's. He has 54 seats behind him, but that's not 61 that he'll need, and he has no clear path to getting those extra seats, which means that his 28 days might come and go just as Netanyahu's time has come and gone. Where does Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu stand in all of this? Well, he has suffered a major blow in this, but you can't rule him out just yet, and this certainly isn't his end, at least not yet. But it is a historic defeat for him, a second straight election where he has failed to form a government. And as you pointed out, for the first time in a decade, someone else will have a chance to try to put together a government. On top of all of that, there are ongoing corruption cases against Netanyahu in which there is a potential indictment coming within perhaps the next few weeks or months. And that means Netanyahu's personal and political future is certainly unclear at this point moving forward. But back to Israeli politics, where does this complicated web lead? The only definitive answer right now, and it's not even all that definitive at all, would be a third round of elections if Gantz also fails and if there's no other consensus choice. And that is sort of the gear that Israeli politics is stuck in right now, Issa. It seems just like an election will lead to an election, which won't lead to any definitive answer, which means it may lead to another election. That's kind of where things stand at the moment.